Now the question is, it is from manufacturing, find the velocity of molten metal at the bottom of the sprue if the given velocity of the molten metal at the top end is 0.5 meter per second, diameter of the top is uh, 20 mm and the height of the sprue is 200 millimeters. So let's take the sprue to be like this. So at the top, area is equal to given by, area is equal to given by at the top here, area is not given, diameter is given here, diameter is equal to given by, let's take the point as 1, so D1 is equal to given by 20 mm, V1 is equal to given by 0.5 meter per second and uh, height is given by 200 millimeter and uh, in this case we need to find out the velocity V2. Okay. So we know in casting we avoid aspiration effect. Aspiration effect means if inside this molten metal if the pressure is lesser than the atmospheric pressure, so gases will try to go from this higher pressure of atmosphere to lower pressure of this liquid here. So as gases are getting entrapped here, there is a chance that the molten metal will be experiencing uh, blow holes after, the, uh, after getting solidified there. So to avoid that one, so we make sure that inside this region, pressure will be equal to or greater than, it should be equal to or greater than the atmospheric pressure there. So, P1 is, that means area of production 1 is exposed to a small atmosphere and P2 where is inside the, on the casting or the near to the casting here. So pressure must be equal, at least minimum conditions, they must be equal. Then only a gas will not be coming into the bulk of the cavity, uh, bulk of this casting here. So pressure must be same here. Now the liquid is flowing from cross section 1 to cross sectional 2 or the casting Molten metal is flowing from cross 1 to cross 2 here. So let's apply the boundary equation here. Boundary, uh, let's apply the boundary, so not the boundary equation there. Let's apply Bernoulli's equation. Bernoulli's equation between 1 and 2 is equal to given by P1 by rho g plus V1 square by 2g plus Z1 is equal to P2 by rho g plus V2 square by 2g plus Z. Here. In this case, I said that P1, P2 will be equal to avoid the aspiration effect here. So both will be getting cancelled here. Now we need to get the value of V2. So V2 will be simply come as is equal to root of V1 square minus 2Z of Z1 minus Z2 here. So V1 square plus 2Z of Z1 minus Plus 2g of z1 minus z2. So if you simplify this, you will be getting this formula here. And now you substitute all the values. G value z1 minus z2. This z1 minus z2 is nothing but h. So it will become v2 is equal to square root of v1 square plus 2g h. So if you substitute the values of v1 and h and g here, you are going to get the answer as of v2 as given by 2.04 meter per second.